Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. We have the Wheel of Fortune reversed with the Eight of Cups. So we've got Sagittarius energy here connected to Jupiter. So the first thing I'm seeing is terrible luck um, in whichever way your person defines it. Something they've been working on, something they've been trying to move forward. For some of you, if they thought the grass was greener, you know, and they went somewhere else, just whatever it is hasn't worked out. And it's like the brakes have been on to the point where your person realized, I've got to detach, I've got to pull back, I've got to think of a new way of doing this because um, I, I'm not getting anywhere. So I'm already seeing that part of their karma here was having to, being forced really to go on this inner journey that they may have been avoiding to self-reflect, to think, to meditate, to spend time with themselves. Okay, what else please? The Hermit reversed, Virgo energy. We have the Four of Cups reversed and the Three of Pentacles. One thing I will say is I feel to some degree that the person you're dealing with here, you know, you've probably dealt with some runner behavior in the past because it looks like they have a tendency to do the bare minimum in terms of introspection. Um, so this is someone who may get validation from external sources, they're kind of uncomfortable in their own company, that sort of thing. Maybe there are parts of themselves that they don't even like to face. So it's almost like they went on this inner journey. As soon as things started moving, they were like, great, an opportunity's here, I'm going for it. Um, I feel the result of this is that your person may have got themselves into a slightly better place than they were before, but, but now they're unhappy again. So it's always, it's like a temporary fix each time because they're not going deep enough, they're not spending long enough, they're not getting to know themselves in the way that spirit wants them to and in the way that they need to really. Um, so this could look like work you know it, it the, you know their karma and how things have played out doesn't have to just be linked directly to romantic love i feel for some of you this is going to be a work situation so if you've watched your person being unhappy in a job you know uh, and now you're hearing maybe that they have a new job it's it's marginally better but they're probably deep down unhappy all over again if it's with a community of people yes they're getting along but it, it's only a little bit better than it was before um okay let's keep going yeah, look at this, you see, Three of Cups reversed. I'm feeling part of their karma here. There's a really strong theme of, of isolation, loneliness, um, you know, having to be by themselves. So this could be someone, as I said, who gets validation from other people, who goes from person to person to person, whether we're talking romantically or if a friendship breaks down, they don't try and repair it, they just jump, you know, to the next person. Um, so since you know, maybe something ended here or there's been a separation or, or since sort of hurting you, um, basically they haven't been able to run, they haven't been able to block that out through positive experiences with other people. There's an increased sense of time alone, isolation, that sort of thing. Yes, look at this, four of swords, three of wands reversed. So you see, they get only so far with the tiny bits of progress and, and self-reflection that, that they're... Um, spending time doing here your person part of their karma as well is feeling like the big goals that they want are never coming in they're always out of reach they might look around themselves and think why is everybody else happier than i am why do i it's like someone's dangling a carrot in front of them why do i just get little bits and pieces but the, the thing i want never never actually comes in I feel they could have fallen out with people as well um let me come back to that message, Knight of Pentacles. Yes, making progress, but look how slow it is. And it doesn't need to be this way, um, but they've got to do the proper inner, <clears throat> excuse me, inner work self-reflection first. On the back, Queen of Swords reversed. So if you are not speaking to them, if your energy has become colder with them or more detached, um, a huge part of their karma here is missing you, feeling your absence or feeling that you're not the same with them that you used to be or things just aren't the same at this time. Um, this is hidden on the bottom of the deck. So they would rather shoot themselves in the foot than admit this to you is what I'm seeing. They, they do not want you to see how affected they are by the change in how you are with them or the change in your, um, your connection, your relationship. Okay. This Three of Cups reversed. Um, yes, I feel that they've maybe 
separated themselves or distanced themselves from certain people, perhaps the very same people who might have been in their ear, giving them unhelpful wisdom, you know, advice, guidance, whether we're talking about friends, family, people in their community, could be people at work. Um, so it's almost like they may have prioritised this group of people and now they've lost you and this group of people. And I think your person separated themselves really from this group, um, but still they're now feeling quite lonely. Um, what else came through here? Because, oh, if your person has a third party or they, they didn't want to settle down, they were sort of like a commitment phobe or it just didn't appeal to them. Whatever it was that appealed about some degree of freedom or a third party situation, it's like they're not getting that satisfaction anymore or they're not feeling good about it in those ways anymore. Um, it could also be if there's a third party like a, a, a you know, um, a committed relationship, a marriage, something like that, your person is understanding it's not going anywhere um, and that they need to face up and, and kind of maybe end things. Okay. Is my cat contributing? I don't know if you could hear him. So I think really a lot of your person's karma is, is private, internal, quiet. Objectively, it might look like they're doing quite well, actually. You know, like I said, for some of you, they might have a new job or they might be working on a new project. Um, things in their 3D reality seem like maybe they've, they've got better, they're just progressing. But no, your person is um, feeling like they're making marginal progress and they kind of just feel the same as they always have. They're not feeling any happier. They're not feeling any more successful, really. It, it's a temporary fix. It's like, oh, I'm depressed. I'll have some chocolate. It releases certain, you know, chemicals for about 60 seconds or something, and then you're back to feeling unhappy. Um, it's kind of like that. Okay, so, you know, and as I said, yes, and look what's underneath the Queen of Swords reversed, the Five of Pentacles. So they miss you. They miss you a lot. I, need, I wanted to say they miss you big time. Um... Okay, so let's have more of a look. Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Cups. This is someone, though, who is very stubborn. And um, it's interesting, I'm not seeing cards outright to suggest this, but I just feel it. They're so, so stubborn. Um, stubbornly refusing to, you know, face themselves, which I can understand if they're very afraid of, of what they might find and, and especially if they've been moving through life for some time, kind of just sweeping things under the rug, it's, it's a big deal. But I, I, I don't know, I kind of think they get a sense that things aren't going to get drastically better until they do this and yet they're still saying, you know, I'll just do whatever bits I can get away with. Um, and I can see they're stubbornly not apologising to you when they need to. They're not reaching out to you. They're not admitting that they miss you. Um, yeah, a lot of stubbornness. Okay, Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Cups. Look at that, you see? They feel like they're not having good luck. And um, it's not, I don't think it's just that things aren't working out in the way they hope. They might find that they're losing things as well, losing people. Um, as I said, some sometimes, oh my goodness, my words, I'm sorry, in some cases, people that they prioritised over you. So now they're thinking, well, what was the point of that? They might be losing money. You know, let's say they have um, something that they're doing on the side, a side project that's bringing in more money or something's changed with work. They might feel like somehow they're spending more than they were before. So now it's just evening out and they're not even able to save or, or have a better lifestyle. Okay, two of pentacles, yes. So right now they're, they're like, should I, shouldn't I? Should I keep going the way I have been, making a bit of progress, not being satisfied with it, one step forward, two steps back, or should I just accept? Accept what I feel inside, which is look, judgment in reverse, that I'm being called to go through this awakening, that I might have to lose things in a big way and, and rebuild um, to have the life that I want. What should I do? High Priestess. You see, they know. They know on some level that their lack of success, lack of progress, lack of happiness, lack of contentment is linked to what's happened between the both of you and maybe um, patterns of behaviour and traits that they've, you know, been exhibiting throughout their whole lives and ways they've been dealing with people. We have the Six of Cups on the back, so always underpinning everything is this longing for a reunion with you, a reconciliation, but they're, they're not reaching out. see 
Yes, Queen of Pentacles reversed. So every opportunity that comes in that seems like it's going to alleviate their boredom, their dissatisfaction, um, whatever else they're feeling in that low vibrational sense, it turns out to be okay. Not as, not the opportunity they hoped for. You know, we've got a knight, and but the queen is reversed. Um, I also feel, as I said, if, they, if they're in a third party situation where there's a committed relationship, like a romantic one, um, I mean, look, it's painful. It's like pulling teeth every single day. It's like, oh, this again. Um, so if they chose a third party over you, well, that's not going well either. So there's a whole bunch of isolation, loneliness, lots of thought, introspection, lots going on in their internal world, disappointment with their life, with themselves, with how things are working out, knowing they have the power to change it, but it's not going to be easy, it's not going to be hands-on, it's very yin energy. This is someone who's used to the yang energy of putting themselves out there, pushing forward, saying, look, aren't I successful because I have this car, I live in this home. That's not what this journey is about. They've got to go within. They've got to put in so much hard work for for no... no um, recognition from anyone else because if you're doing internal work no one can see it at least not instantly you know you can see it when someone's 3d reality starts to change maybe they start to show up differently but for a long time no one can see anything and this person is uncomfortable with that because they get validation from people you know um, slapping them on the back and saying good job so they know they have the power here they're asking themselves how deep should i go should i really go for it or should i just keep skating on the surface um, and missing you. The thing is, yes, I mean, I can see how much they miss you. You have, you know, five pentacles, six of cups, but that doesn't have to be such a big, deep thing as going within. I think maybe they could just try and apologize if they need to, or reach out to you if there's been no communication. So in that respect, I kind of think there's pride and ego, you know, that doesn't need to be the obstacle that they're making it. Okay, so um, let's get some oracle cards and see what else can we see here. Okay, spirit, so this person's karma for hurting my viewer. What is it? What's going on here? He, wow, healing waters, exactly. Affirmation for growth, yeah. Okay, so healing waters, and we have this affirmation for growth card. I mean, this is it. This this is exactly everything that, that just came through. They have to go deep. They've got to, if we think of water as being the emotions, you know, they've got to go within their emotions. They've got to heal themselves. It's all, it's all, this whole journey, this whole path is, is laid out and available to them, but they have to go to the water to bathe themselves in it, to drink, to reflect. And look at the background, look how dry and barren it is, you know, and that's kind of where they keep trying to plant these seeds. And that's why they're getting such little return for their investment. They've got to come over to this, the, you know, river over here. So if they decide, okay, and look, even in this Two of Pentacles, it's behind him, you know, all of this, um, the, the the water, the emotion, the intuition, the, the high priestess energy, you know, the, the gateway to that uh, sort of greater knowing about ourselves and, and, well, so much more, but they've got to take themselves there. Okay, affirmation for growth. Yeah, again, look, she's planted something. Okay, it's growing, but... You know, if your person's going to grow one tiny, um, you know, plant at a time, how long it, how long is it going to take, really? Um, and even the cat in the background, you know, their intuition is picking up the, the soil and dropping it and looking at it and thinking, hmm, you know, it's kind of dry. I'm not sure how successful this is going to be. So, yeah, that really kind of sums up what we've been seeing. So let's see what else. So this person's karma for hurting my viewer, please. I'm just seeing this rest card in reverse. So it could be that they are, you know, well, we know that they're refusing to stop rest, go within, but I think um, they're very busy doing a lot, as I said, for not too much in return. Um, 
Wheel of Fortune reversed, feeling that luck is not on their side um, and that things move very slowly for them as well. Okay, what else please? Number six, we have the Crone Fairy Godmother, Wisdom, Future, Truth. You know, we have the Maiden, the Mother and the Crone. So this is someone who feels that they've wasted their time in life. Now, I, do, I have no idea how old your person is or how young, you know, but whatever their age, they personally reflect and, you know, this might be why they're so afraid of going within because they might be thinking, what I'm going to realise from this is how much time I've wasted. So your person is considering themselves to be kind of far on in life. Um, and, you know, we, we do that at any age. I think, you know, if you're 20, you can look back and think, oh, I'm an adult now. I, You know, I've made my decisions. I wish I could go back to being... 16 or 17 and, and make different choices or something and you know at every stage we can think that and then as we get older we look back and we think oh it's hilarious that at 20 I thought I was old do you know what I mean like that sort of thing so I think your person whatever age they are they're thinking I've wasted so much time um if I if I sit and reflect yes I have all of this wisdom now but I don't know if I can accept the time I feel I have wasted that's going to be a heavy burden for me um, to carry a heavy thing to accept so there's a feeling of oh, well I've, I've made a lot of choices in life that now I'm stuck with that have really shaped how things have gone that have shaped my future and um, part of the, the karma is I just have to accept these and, and follow the path I've laid out now I do not believe that's true looking at these cards I still think there's a chance to change things however old or young they are but um from their perspective that's kind of how they're feeling right now okay interesting as well the number six you know the number of divine love um, past lives so this connection really has made your person see things in a whole different way see themselves in a, in a different way um, which has been a gift but also if they you know are looking back and thinking they're a bit foolish it's, it's kind of heavy as well we have Gemini the number three and it says across pollinate so Gemini could be something around um, communication I'm thinking of also the magician in a tarot deck um, represents Gemini so something around seeing their personal power realizing um, how they've been giving it away how they've been around people situations that have been low vibrational they've been holding themselves back and feeding their energy into the wrong things here I think as well with this cross pollinate message there's something you might be from quite different um you might have different perspectives you and your person you might be from different backgrounds you might be different ages there's just something inherently that's that's kind of different about the both of you and it might be very complimentary whatever this is but i feel there's some way which in which you've brought expansion into your person's world unintentionally something about you and how you've shown up has expanded their horizons their view their perspective and again it's leading to this realization of my goodness you know one of the words on this card is truth and they're thinking I've had such a limited view of things and I've accepted way less than I would have if I'd have known what else was out there. So maybe it's like you're from a city, they're from a very um, small community, like um, a tiny town or village or something. Um, whatever the difference is, there's just some way I think in which you've come into their life and just exploded it and given them whole new perspectives on certain things. Yes, and then we have the number 26, which says portal, and it says change, gateway, new beginnings. Now, this is a portal, this is a gateway that's still open to them, and they just need to wake up and realise it. It's not too late, you know, however, as I said, young or old they are, it's not too late, they can still go for it. Um, but change, new beginnings can be scary. So that's the thing, isn't it? Back to that two of pentacles, should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? Um okay so right now what's this your person's facing a pretty big dilemma the number 30 and it says sacred waters wow deep healing emotions and pilgrimage and look at this healing waters i think they're going to do it i think they are going to say you know enough of this one step forward two steps back let me jump into these waters these healing waters my inner intuitive waters and figure myself out 
gosh, pilgrimage, let me go on this journey, let me walk through this, this portal, this gateway and have this new beginning. Amazing, okay. So I will leave this here. I hope it resonated, hope it helped. And um, thank you for spending your time here with me. Hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye.